Uh, all right, here's a piece of tape you've been waiting for. So Eric the Midget says to me in one of his friggin' phone calls that he wants to be an actor and he wants to be on that TV show American okay. Dreams, which I've never even seen in my life. I might have seen one episode just to see what it was. Is it any good? Obviously, I didn't go back. All right. So it wasn't my cup of tea, but it's... Yeah, so, I've been on NBC for a couple of years now. This guy who produces it calls into my show. He goes, hey, we want Eric the Midget to play some guy in a wheelchair. Eric's in a wheelchair anyway. So uh, Eric went out there, and he plays. Uh, he, he's going to the travel agency, and the woman's selling him a ticket. And now I got his performance on tape. Okay. So here's Eric the Midget in his little scene. And he went out. And by the way, I got him three Gs to do this. And uh, remember, he was making demands now about his interview. Yeah, well, anyway, here's the scene. He's first, a star. First, I'll, first, first, I'll play you the scene because you haven't heard it yet. Here it is. A, a, a world exclusive. A Howard Stern Show exclusive. A Howard Stern exclusive. Oh, here it is. Oh. <laughs> I lost it. A Howard Stern exclusive. And there and we were hoping to fly to San Francisco. We have family there. Mm. My older brother. Oh, well, have you ever flown before, Eric? No, this is my first time. Okay, well, let's see what we can do for you. We're supposed to go to a Giants game, me and my brother. Oh, that sounds like fun. So he's never been on a plane? No, never. That's it? Oh, uh, Howard Stern, exclusive. I was thinking he did pretty good, but uh, other people said to me he should have spoken up a little more. Well, yeah, he sounds like he's talking. But he kind of is. I mean, you see him. I mean, it's a physical, you know, a physical affliction. Well, my point though is he can get really animated when he's angry. He should have gotten angry. Yeah, well, he's he my brother. They made him. They made him do it a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Mark. Right, hey, Mark. He went. <coughs> yeah. That. And we were hoping to fly to San Francisco. We have family there. My old have you ever flown before, Eric? No, it's my first time. Okay, well, let's see what we can do for you. We're supposed to go at Giants game, me and my brother. Well, that sounds like fun. And he's never been on a plane? No, never. Mm -hmm. hmm. hmm, I just gotta imagine that they saw this a whole different way. <laughs> well, that's what turned out. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, so where are you going? <laughs> and then where? That sounds like fun. <laughs> it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't sound like he was too excited. No. No. Didn't sound like he even wanted to go on the trip. No. But anyway, there he is, Eric the Midget, in his first demanding acting role. I thought it was funny that oh, the actors Excuse me. even talked over him at one point and didn't even expect him to respond. Yeah, well. <laughs> then we were going to have Eric in here to talk about his acting debut. But? But now we have to think about it because he's making all these demands. I see. Hi, this is Eric. I was just leaving this message because I want to make a request of what I'd like to have the the interview here this week or next, whenever it's going to be, and what I don't want to have in it. Number one, that I don't want to have in it is any toilet humor out of you, Howard. I do not want to hear you ask me any questions like the fact that I met three of the female cast members. I do not want to hear you say, ooh, so did you go home and pleasure yourself? thinking about them is, you know what, I do not want to have them hear you ask me that question. They're going to be listening to this. I want you to take this interview a whole lot more serious than any other phone call you would take from me in the past. The, the whole cast and crew, they no longer be calling. They know that, you know, I'm going to be doing this with you. And they're going to be listening. And Quite a few of them are loyal fans of yours, and I doubt you would want to lose any of them due to any stupid things that you may say about the cast or crew. So, like I said, keep it clean, 
keep it uh, keep it serious and do not use any toilet. Okay, I don't care if it bores the hell out of your listener. That's the way I would like the interview to go. Okay, bye for now. Wow, what is he, the new head of the FCC? Absolutely. He doesn't even care if it's boring. I got a lot of email about him. A lot of people were saying, hey, he's ungrateful. I mean, well, that's true. You know, <laughs> he got him this great gig, and now he's like making demands and all that kind of stuff. But he's Eric, and that's why we love him.